Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Would you rather watch golf at home? Would you rather watch baseball at home? This one? I don't think Mr. Todd would say that. I hear Mr. Todd's body is heavily scarred. I hear Mr. Todd was hit by an axe. He doesn't want to show those scars to his wife. I hear Mr. Archie has many new wounds. He gets new ones every time he sleeps with a woman. I don't think he can forgive himself. <sighs> it's four days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? Mr. Morgan is dreamy today. Mr. Morgan looks the same as he did 20 years ago. A woman Mr. Morgan loved was killed. Mr. Morgan didn't follow her into death. I wonder if he will kill the murderer. You got... Are you drinking? It's you. All I hear are rumors these days, even when I drink. I think these rumors gave me a terrible nightmare last night. These rumors are about cheating men, right? Gotta say, I, I'm a little scared. You, you have a reason to be scared then? I'm a piece of trash. If they're cursing cheaters to death, I'd be the first to go. Trash? I killed my wife. What? That's the other case I told you I'm investigating from six years ago. You killed your wife and you're still researching the case. I'm trash. Huh. Sorry, I don't have any information you about that me. incident. I'll be on the job today, though, so hopefully I'll have something for you. You got mail. <laughs> no. All right. Fee. It's cheaper now. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's only 50000 instead of 80000 What a steal. Besides, that's just the application fee. Who knows how much more the trip will cost? And what's this about marriage? You're joking, right? Uh, hmm. Trip into space, huh? Sure, I'd like to go to space one day. Who wouldn't? But let's be real here. If I had that kind of dough, I'd buy a house. Or pay off my car and have primo steaks for a month. Wow, what a dreamer. I've got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research, but I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying ballet. The article was a hit, and her popularity soared. It's the truth. Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment, her family. What? I'm sorry. I'll tell the rest some other time. I don't think I've had enough to drink today. Go easy on the booze, okay? I drink and drink, but I can't get drunk. This is our latest in the coverage of the mysterious weakening death epidemic. Matthew Miller was found dead today. We retraced his footsteps from the day before as part of our investigation. This epidemic, a horrible mess. According to his mother, who spoke with him on the phone, after that point, he'd been plagued with nightmares. Hey, hey, 
Are you alone today? Hey, uh, do I look like a good person? Yeah. You're not a good judge of character, are you? I'm one of the worst people ever. Huh? I sleep with lots of women, take their money, and run. Lather, rinse, repeat. Why? I don't like women. They disgust me. <sighs> what about you? Are you usually loyal to them? Well, I, I guess. I mean, I've been dating my girlfriend for a while now. So you mean you'd pull back even if the woman of your dreams hit on you? Yeah, but... You can stay true to the one you love, but all it gets you is betrayal. A happy family is just an illusion. Mothers and sons are just women and men when it comes down to it. Huh? Uh, just kidding. I'm going now. I only came to have one drink. Is that Rapunzel game any good? I tried it because Todd, my boss, was into it. It's a lot of pushing and pulling, just like relationships with women. Nothing but trouble. You got mail. It's you. Sid, I've been waiting to speak alone with you. I can't believe you don't remember me. And all this time, I was striving to one-up you. One-up? What? I can change the markets with a nod of my head. I've got friends in every branch of government you can think of. I've done a complete 180 from when I was in grade school. So why do I feel so powerless? I can't count how many times I've had to get Erica to cover my drinks until I could pay later. You. You always had so many friends. <sighs> I guess I'll never win. I can't make the one person that I love happy. Oh. Anna, was it? Out of everything in my life, she's the one thing I ever chose for myself. But I have another fiancé. Uh... I don't know what to say. I don't need your pity. Hmm. What's up? Well, um... Oh, yeah. Have you made the cake I brought you? Oh, sorry. Not yet. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Catherine? Vincent, have you been busy recently, or do you have something bothering you? W why do you ask? I mean, you seem to have been thinking about something for the past few days. Well, I can tell. Oh, well... I'm sorry. I'll call you later. Bye. Not wrong. Does Johnny seem a bit gloomy to you? Did something happen? We don't mess around, man. I'm seriously worried about him. He always hides his problems, right? Yeah, huh? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. I've been getting the feeling like people keep staring at me. Maybe I'm showing a little too much cleavage. It's just you. Hey, don't shoot me down just like that with three words. Come on. I know you sneak a peek at me every so often. No, I don't. Three words again? the recent chain of deaths. Just between you and me, it seems an acquaintance of one of our customers has passed away. This is a coincidence. Well, I don't believe in curses either. But to incur the grudge of a female is a horrifying thing. You see, my wife left me. When she was away on vacation, I brought a young lady home and was just having a little fun. And then she comes home all of a sudden. After that, she's swinging all kinds of improvised weaponry at me. Phew, what a night. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but still, I love my wife even now. She's a classy lady. Hmm. Then 
maybe there's no reason for you to worry about the curse. I mean, if cheating is the cause of the curse, everything's already been taken care of, right? I see. You're right. Maybe that's why I don't have strange nightmares? Besides, it's just a rumor anyway. It's stupid. Well, we will just move on once they figure out what's causing this. After that rumor started, everyone seems to be a bit more tired than usual. Are the nightmares because of lack of sleep? Even if they were, they're all happening at once. Uh, oh well, shucks, it's late. I'm tired today. I should go home and get some rest. I started to think about our high school days after what happened to Paul. Oh boy, Paul loved the girls back then too. You and Orlando were always doing stupid things. Didn't you guys once eat Catherine's lunch and get chewed out for it? Did we? I know she was mad, but she started bringing you snacks once in a while. You remember? I thought she just wasn't hungry. Eh, dumbass. There was so much going on back then. We were all busy with our own problems. It wasn't all fun, but I felt more alive. More than I do now. What's with you all of a sudden? Is something bothering you? No. <sighs> Hey, really, what's what's going on? I'm just reminiscing. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Sure. I'm kind of tired. I haven't been able to sleep lately. I tried staying in my girlfriend's place, but that makes me even more tired. Your girlfriend, huh? What's she like? <laughs> what? You, you want to know? You never talk about her. Toby was wondering, too. There's... Nothing to talk about. Maybe later. Hmm? For you at the quadrangle. You'll be frozen with fear. This voice. Huh? are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. <sighs> All that alcohol is bad for your liver. <laughs> Hurry up. I've been looking forward to your trial. Did I, did I just hear something? Pregnant. She's pregnant, and here I am cheating for a third time. What am I doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. Did you know the United States outlawed alcohol between 1920 and 1933? It is said that this very prohibition paved a way for the cocktail culture to bloom. Alcohol made in secret tended to taste terrible, so people began mixing it with anything and everything to make it more enjoyable. These are the roots of the modern cocktail. The more you stamp on a weed, the more it thrives. My, that's deep. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. Can I get you something else? I'll try sake. You got it. Here you go. Mm. Why do I keep cheating? Why can't I just tell her I have a girlfriend? Wow, you don't look so hot. You should go home and get some rest. 
I know. Oh, yeah, about my bill. Uh... Yeah, put it on your tab, right? I know, I know. Anyway, just make sure you get home safely, okay? With all the rumors and bad news going around. Ah, you worry too much, Erica. I'll be fine. See you soon. Thank you. 